Hello guys, so what I want to show you today is how you can delete a number of files from your PC using a PowerShell script and a metadata file. And what I mean by that is if you have a CSV file, which I named files list, that contains a list of files, you can use a PowerShell script to delete them all at once. And over here I already name my one two three four files and I created them in the same folder they can be in any folder as long as you have the absolute path for each file over here um, I also included the name for a file that it will not find just to see how the script will behave in order to write our partial script all we have to do is open up the IDE and now over here I can start writing some code and what I like to do first is to just put a message to remind myself of what I'm doing reading CSV file What I will do next is just declare a variable, which I will just name my CSV. And I will import the actual CSV file. Now I have to type in the path to the file, which is in my folder, file list.csv and to iterate through the objects right away I'll just type in column graph and I can go ahead and just say for each object in the CSV file I want to do something I'll declare a variable name file item and I will get the current item with that being get child item at the following path which is going to be in the column name path and I can reference it by typing dollar sign underscore that name of the column and if there is an error I want to silently continue but before I try to delete this item I have to make sure that it exists to do that I will make sure that it is there by typing if the file item does not exist I want to get a message file does not exist and I can add the name of the file by just putting this in here there's an error I want it to be easily visible so I'll change the color of the message and I'll make it a red Now I can go else if the file does exist I want to delete it but I want to also get a message saying deleting this file and now the line that does it all is yes remove item at the following path and now if I execute this script as is these files will get deleted but remember that I typed in a name for a file that will not be found so when we execute the program we should be able to see a red line saying hey this file does not exist so now I will go ahead and run the script and there we go it says deleting the following file 
the last file does not exist and it says will not find me and now if we look in our folder they're all gone that's it and this can work for any number of files I know there's large organizations that store a lot of their files in just shared drives and then they just want to delete them and it's very inefficient if you just go and right click each of them or even if you have to do control A there's so many folders and maybe they want to delete just certain files and they give you a, a list of names and you don't want to be scrolling down you can use a PowerShell script make your life easier thank you see you in the next video